almost not a play, and it probably didn't really begin. I moved from the idea of, um, hey kids, let's put on a show, which has tremendous vitality and uh, uh, making art because it's fun to make art. Um, a shift from that to art that was more directly purposed. We're not being historical in a way that we're reflecting on something that is closed That's off, over, right. but that something is still at work and is still needs to be figured out as well because mm -hmm. the the, uh, the governments in those countries are also still trying to, to figure out how to handle these histories that they have. The thesis of the plays, play by play and overall, is that we need a uh, collective witness in order to uh, um, renovate culture after genocidal damage. We created this whole sequence where they go from babies to toddlers who can walk to soldiers because we wanted to talk about child soldiers um, in Latin America. A lot of people know about child soldiers in Africa. They don't, they didn't know. I've heard someone recently said to me, we didn't know they were child, yeah, they're child soldiers, seven, eight-year-old kids who are out there killing people. We couldn't just talk about El Salvador. That wasn't going to work. The, the history of genocide in Latin America was a 500 year history that began with the conquistadors. And to have a visceral experience in theater where people sometimes are so um, Intellectual. cool about it and, and theoretical about it, um, we felt was a real achievement for this whole process.